welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. Let's and today, a little bit. I'm sorry. It's okay. Today we're talking about balloon ships. Balloon ships. Yeah. Specifically, that's what. Lighter they're than airships. Oh, okay. Blimps. Blimps. And zeppelins. Well, you know what the difference is? Because one of them is made of lead. No. No lead zeppelin. See, that's a rock band. This is an airship. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, blimps are envelopes filled with helium, lighter than air gas. Okay. A zeppelin has a rigid structure with balloonase. It's changing the amount of, of lift in the balloonase inside the rigid structure to make it lead in there. But we're not talking about Zeppelins today. No, we're talking about blimps, the Goodyear blimp. We actually got to ride in the Goodyear blimp. Amazing airship. It is huge in here. It's crazy. It's like they could park a blimp in here. Imagine how many airplanes we could fly in here. Hi. Hi, Mike. Hello. How you doing? How you guys doing? Pleased to meet you. Mike Doherty, how are you? This Hi. is our pilot. This is the man that's going to educate us about lighter, is it called lighter than aircraft? Now, what's the technical name? Is it, it's a blimp, dirigible, zeppelin? Okay. A blimp is what this is, it's, which means it's non-rigid. That means that there's no internal structure inside the envelope. Okay. It's just a balloon. Balloon, basically, yeah. Which we have the capability of putting one on each side underneath the uh, outriggers where the engines are. 
extra 80 gallons per tank, we can stay up for 24 to 30 hours. I know. At this kind of power setting. And the other unique part about the blip, though, is that because most of our lift is in the helium itself, uh, unlike an airplane or a helicopter that as soon as you pull that power out, it's going to start gliding down, we can uh, buy our resources to enable us to stay at the loft, uh, in theory, indefinitely. Because we can just float around if you're like a gas balloon. So, nice. Yeah. That's something. So while we were just sitting around hanging out at the Waiting Goodyear, for our ride. Yeah. We actually ordered this balloon. Yes, we wanted to make a ready controlled Goodyear blimp. But then we ran into a snag, didn't we? Yes, we didn't have anybody to actually make The Swede went home. Yeah. It was dark days for flight tests. So we had to import him back to the States. Solely for this reason. Now the real Goodyear blimp had air bladders in it. And what they do is they'd fill up the air bladders in the front or the back and that would actually cause the nose to pitch up and down. Right. There's no way we're gonna be able to do that in this place. Yeah. So we, David, built this little thing. Yeah, actually we got some pretty good clips of it. Why don't we just show it now? Okay. It's the only thing you don't have is controlling uh, fins, right? Yeah, your but fins don't I don't have that much airflow over them, so it doesn't really matter. It's back during your thrust. Yeah, so what you can see now, it's changing its angle of attack. Nice. So if I go forward now, it's gonna go downwards. Yeah. Wow, that's a crazy effective. So it's very simple and even if you bump into anything, it doesn't really matter. Because it's a balloon. Yeah. But it still works about the same as a real blimp, but it doesn't, I couldn't really make bladders inside of it that no. changes. Well, and at this scale and stuff, it really wouldn't be very effective either, would it? No, not nearly as effective as this. It's remarkably agile. The flight time is about oh. an hour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't exactly turn on, on a dime. How hard would it be to go great large scale on this thing? Not that hard. It's just, you need a, the balloon. It was already done. We just ordered it. It's very relaxing. It's so quiet. I think I'm actually gonna fall asleep. All right, now that we're here with Swedish Fish, David, why, um, why didn't you make the modifications that you made to this? Why didn't yeah, you just keep it the way it was? The original actually had terrible props on it. Had two big were they terrible or were they horrible? Horrible, horrible. Yeah, I made him say it. Um, the controller was awful. Uh, you can barely steer it. It had a huge prop here that actually pushed it up or down. Yeah. Controlling. So it wasn't legit. No, it wasn't, and it wasn't controllable at all. It was bad. So what I did was take two servos, nine gram servos, and put two props from an air hog I found in the garage, and then made this little slider thing to move the weight around. Wow. Like the normal one. So. I hooked it up to my high-tech Aurora controller and controlled it that way, and we could actually steer it so much better. Yeah. Now, my favorite thing that you did with this is, you know, there's a track here. What happens when it hits the end of the track? It'll just kind of bind. You did something to fix that. Yeah, I actually, there's a piece of fuel tubing on the servo here. So whenever it hits the end here, it just spins on the horn. Nice. It's friction fitted. It works really well, actually. And for you guys out there, there's no such thing right now, unless you're in the sailboats, as a, uh, a winch. constant a winch servo. Yeah. You had to make that. Yeah, it's super easy. You just take two resistors and cut the leads to the pot that's in there, and it's continuously rotating. Super easy. Yeah, for a Swedish guy. The difference between the 
the real flying blimp and an airplane, whenever you hit a thermal on a normal plane, it just bumps. Yeah. On this, actually it goes over like- It rises, a yeah. like wave. It's air waves. It's riding like air a, waves. Like an airship. And you know what the other neat thing too is, is the guy at one point, do you remember he, he, we were going down towards, what was it, the runway? He's yeah. going to touch and go. And he turns around and he's talking to us while the thing's pointed like this. <laughs> we're like, oh, uh, 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 you don't do that in an airplane. It was a pretty cool experience. It's an amazing experience. It's, it's really a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. It, exactly. It, no one gets to fly the Goodyear Blimp without an invitation. Yes. So that's pretty cool. It's a very special thing. And the people of Goodyear, thank you so much for the opportunity. Really appreciate it. And we learned a lot from it too. Yes, we did. It was yeah. amazing. All right, thanks everybody for watching, and thanks to you all for sponsoring Flight Test because by you guys going to the Flight Test store and buying the Speed Build kits or t-shirts or, or smoke anything accessories. with a little look on it, that's what keeps Flight Test going. You're making it happen. That's right. So, so thank you guys. Thank you. All right, see you guys next time. See you next time.